show that most people who set fitness goals as New Year's resolutions don't stick to them. But as Hillary Lane found out, shifting your mindset might just be the key to success. Helen Perzan has lost 20 pounds over the past year. I come five or six days a week, so I'm, I'm really very motivated. She says losing weight wasn't her priority. Her goal was to feel better and stay mobile. It's that time of year for making healthy resolutions. If you want long-term behavior change, you really need to focus more on positive reinforcement. Dr. Brandon Alderman studies exercise psychology at Rutgers University. He says Helen has the right idea. She likely had success shedding pounds because it wasn't her primary focus. When your goals are tied into something that you really want to see, like weight loss, and you step on the scale after two weeks after January, and you don't see a measurable amount of weight loss, you're not getting any sort of reinforcement. He says that's also why so many people give up on their fitness resolutions after just a few weeks. To make resolutions that stick, be smart. Set smart, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-based goals. Set your goals in relation to an immediate benefit that you might gain. So I want to reduce my levels of stress. I want to sleep better. Those are immediate benefits that are tied to exercise. Exercise should be considered a habit or just a part of the daily routine. At least 30 minutes a day, five times a week is recommended for most adults. I get up in the morning, you know, I put my gym clothes on and I head right out the door. And like Helen, pick an activity you enjoy because you're more likely to keep doing it. Hillary Lane, CBS News, New Brunswick, New Jersey.